Let's freaking go! Tennessee, what the heck is happening? We got a juicy in-state story involving C.J. Taylor, stud linebacker for the Vanderbilt Commodores, and a potential tampering violation. And look, we are just in the early stages of this, and you will not believe the quote you are about to hear, but I'm going to need your help in the comment section down below. Do you believe we have a major cheating issue with NIL and the transfer portal? But the long story short, there was a source inside the Vanderbilt Commodore program that informed a 247 reporter that they believe C.J. Taylor, their stud linebacker, the former three-star from the state of Tennessee, was reached out to by somebody inside and or adjacent to the Tennessee Commodore, Tennessee Commodore, the Tennessee Volunteer Football Program to try and get C.J. Taylor to hop in the transfer portal and play for the Volunteers. So, in an open media session today, C.J. Taylor was asked about it. There's, you know, there's some stuff out there that Tennessee tried to get you to hop in the portal. Is that true? Uh, um, yeah, there was some, there were some conversations there, but I'm glad to be here. So, huh, 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 what do we make of this? Honestly, in the comment section, let me know, because I think there's going to be plenty of you that are Commodores that are very fired up about this. And then, of course, if you're a Tennessee volunteer, you're going to be very defensive and say, hey, it is still very early. What the heck, though, happened? I, I'm trying to figure that out myself. Um, I'm going to share with you a few things that I found very bizarre about uh, just that clip. But really quickly, I'm going to share with you another clip from a question that was asked just before that. Uh, you know, I mean, in the transfer portal era, like, you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. why, why did you decide to come back? Uh, so I don't really like change. So I'm from a small town, McMinnville. And when I got up here, I wasn't really sure about it. But then Coach Lee and Coach Howe, especially when Coach Howe came here, they just, they really started building relationships within me. And I know all of my teammates feel the same way. So I just, I fell back on like the relationships that was built instead of chasing, you know, NIO and et cetera. So that last part is interesting. He just signed a deal, I believe, with the Anchor Down um, Collective at Vanderbilt. And uh, it's such a weird thing now with NIO. How much do players actually get paid? How do collectives even work? We have obviously these hearings in Congress that have been a mess and the politicians are having to relearn what even NIL is when they reference the Rafer Alston case, when that had to do with antitrust. You know, there's so much unclarity because obviously we're still in the early stages of this and the governing bodies that uh, control uh, the NCAA, as you guys know, is a mess. So, I understand we want to absolutely flame Tennessee in this video, right? Because it looks like they are guilty, especially after the first quote, because they reached out to a player that is currently with another university who I believe, once again, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, who I believe was not in the transfer portal in C.J. Taylor. So what exactly happened here? Well, let me include that I really wish, and look, this whole thing is very bizarre to me how all of it was actually just set up because this was an official media setting. So Vanderbilt made him available for the media session, and I believe the reporter who initially broke the story was the one who asked uh, the question. Either way, Vanderbilt knew uh, making him available to the media. They didn't have to do that, but they knew making him available to the media opened themselves up for Taylor to be asked this very question. So, once again, I can get into how calculated that actually is, but look, I, I think Vanderbilt's PO'd, and they want to get this out into the public. So, the thing that was missing here and why I am just not going to flame Tennessee was a follow-up question, right? They just asked, hey, were you reached out by Tennessee? And Taylor confirmed that he was, but there was no specificity. 
who reached out? Was it a position coach? Was it an analyst? Was it a compliance director? Was it someone from a Tennessee collective that may not even be affiliated with the university? We don't know. But if it does come out that somebody officially at Tennessee did reach out, this is indeed tampering. If I am not mistaken, once again, that's why the comment section is there. So I am not going to flame Josh Heupel for this because we don't know. He has not been made available to the media himself. But I would add that it is hard to believe that this is just not happening everywhere. And like we stated, it is clear that Vanderbilt wanted this out, right? I do, though, believe this is the first like really public player get asked directly about a certain university reaching out to them and him confirming that something happened. But once again, we lack specificity on what that something actually was because there was no follow-up question of who actually talked to C.J. Taylor. So we just don't know. But um, I, I'll tell you this, it is indeed happening, right? Because, look, there's just so many different players that magically end up at all these new universities. And once they get into the portal, a lot of them uh, do commit relatively quickly, which makes you believe that there is prior contact to the player while they are currently at their school. Um, so, look, this is happening, and it is hard to really uh, enforce any kind of penalties because we just don't know, right? Maybe someone could produce text messages, emails, some form of evidence of someone reaching out to somebody else, but it's hard to really just you know, nail anybody down when it comes to these types of stories. But it's just not a good look for Tennessee at all, right? Whose football program, of course, doesn't have the absolute best image when it comes to things like this, from the McDonald's bag, uh, quote-unquote controversy, to um, just recruiting violations in general with the volunteers. So obviously it's not a good look at all, especially if this is your in-state rival in your own conference in your own division uh so yeah it's not it's not something obviously that would excite me if i'm a tennessee fan either so here's what i'll say i think moving forward there needs to be more clarity about what you can and cannot do i think there are even players now that will you know text a position coach and reach out uh, on their own behalf, and what are you supposed to do then, right? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how that works. Because one thing I think people forget is just in general, these players remain in contact with other coaches even when they don't commit, right? So it is a, a very interesting situation, but we are still very early in it, and I will say it is. Very spicy. I, I, I'm not going to lie. This is a very interesting situation. Not the most high-profile player, but still a very solid SEC starter. Um, and look, you know, we can figure out what Tennessee's linebacker room is going to look like next year with what they have now. But we'll see how all of this plays itself out. Now, comment down below. Do you feel we are in a very dangerous spot in this sport when it comes to stories such as this one? Do you feel tampering is something that actually is just happening frequently? Like it's just very open and it's just understanded. Uh, it's just, you know, stated that players and coaches are doing this. I am very interested uh, on your thoughts on this very thing because I believe it is. I do. I I don't think it's like some kind of major epidemic, but I just think it's, you know, it's one of those situations, everybody's doing it. I mean, and, you know, it's it's kind of Lance armstrong if you will. Someone's going to get caught eventually. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. So uh, comment down below your thoughts, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, baby. It is <laughs> Power Hour SEC. Bam! And tonight, 
Oh, we're doing some. What are we doing? Oh, bison meat taco soup, baby. Don't knock it till you try it, baby. Let's go.